Hello peoples, welcome to my channel. This is Mickey Sunshine Creates and I'm Mickey. I've got uh, three more libraries to show you of brushes that come with the wonderful app for iPad, Procreate. It's a graphic drawing program and a lot of fun. I hope you'll join me. Let's take a look. Welcome, welcome, uh, welcome to my channel and to my little uh, Procreate brush uh, introduction. Um, Procreate is a graphic design app that is for iPad only and it is incredible. It's only $12.99. You can, it comes with all of these brushes down here. Now I have a lot more. And most of them are free. I've got like probably over 5,000 brushes. And all these brushes are, you know, you've got so many brushes in each library. These are called libraries. So, but there's so many that are free that you can download. Uh, tutorials that come with a free brush and free tutorials. Uh, color palettes, such as, where's my color palettes? Ah, color such as these, all different ones, that you can use um, that have already been used to create something so you know the colors go together in one way or another. Uh, how you make those colors, you know, put them together, that's, that's up to you. But right now, just to show you the brushes for our next, we stopped at Industrial, which was the corrugated iron. Um, I'm going to use black on white for now. I'm going to have to switch it soon. And inking is the next step in our evolution. <laughs> I love this. I'm sorry. Okay, you can dress me up. Can't take me out anywhere, but I'm a lot of fun anyway. Baskerville is, uh, how do I describe it? It's a tapered with pressure it'll get wider. This is wonderful for line drawing. Of course, you have to learn how to use it, and I'm still learning. So, I'm learning. Because <laughs> it, it, it takes, you know, a certain finesse just like it does with painting to get lighter the, the less pressure the thinner the more pressure the thicker and you want that thin and thick look so it's cool <laughs> yeah all right next is dry ink well that's kind of self-explanatory isn't it it looks as you can see, like dry ink. If you, the Apple Pen will behave just like a pencil. If you're using it flat up, no matter how light you, you press, you'll get a blacker line. But if you want to shade, you want to go on your, move it to the side, just as you would a pencil. See that? It's, I love this. <laughs> It'll do just like using the side of a pencil and brushing it in. 
and you have a fine tip. Ah, uh, fine tip is also good for stitching, but it's what they call a mono one. It 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 doesn't pressure tilt doesn't affect the size of the line at all. You want a bigger line, or actually this is as big as this one goes, but if you want an even finer line, look at that, very fine. And again, it, no matter how you press it, tilt it, or pressure, it stays the same size, which it's very convenient when you're sketching, at least for me. <laughs> All right, two fingers erases whatever's there. Let's bring this a little. Whoop. Yeah, let's bring this so you can see the whole thing. And um, if you hold your two fingers down, it erases everything until the last time you opened it. So you have to be careful because you may have layers that you worked on that you don't want to undo them. Because once you close the particular project that you're working on, you can't undo. You can erase, you know, you can take that layer out and work on another layer, but you can't go back. You can't undo. So, all right, let's see. A gel pen. What's, okay, I... Does anybody understand a gel pen? It starts thick and then, and then goes very thin. And this is, let's see, this is as big as it gets. I just, I don't understand. Does anybody else get it? Why it goes, I get it, to me it's a leaky gel pen. Well, you see, making more pressure makes it thinner. Less pressure makes it thicker. But it doesn't give it that, um, that tapered look when you end. So, I don't know, somebody tell me what a gel pen is. Two fingers, wee, and it's unerased. Okay, next, uh, Jasinki ink. Jasinki ink. These are not my names. Okay, I have. Ooh, it's like a ribbon. This is probably very good for calligraphy, or just inking something. Nice. That's me. Um, now, if you can make some pretty letterings or designs with this. Let's see. Oh, I like that. That's, this is cool. This is a cool one. We like ribbons. There are some brushes in here that are true ribbons. Inca. Ah, <laughs> it's another, looks like another dry pen. Sideways, upward, oh, upward, and pressure makes it bigger. Sideways just keeps it the same size, but I don't know if you can see how that, that's the outline of the brush. I have it so the outline is, is shown. So you can see when I do hold it upright and press, if I hold it upright and don't press, I can get thinner lines and thicker lines. And if I hold it sideways, it's all the same line, pretty much. I like that. That's cool. <laughs> that could be used for bark, I guess, or... I know, these are good for, um, if you're a cartoonist, 
you want to get into making cartoons, these are very good brushes for that. Because most cartoons are inked and then colored. So this is ink bleed. <laughs> yeah, that bleeds. If I, I can imagine it working this on a paper that's very... Hmm, what's the word? I know there's a word in there. Uh, very absorbent, I guess. And your, your pen is very inky. Now, this is another one. Press hard, press light. Sideways. It stays almost the same. But if you press light, you get a lighter. I don't know why I have to do this twice sometimes. Let's see if I can get it light. Pressure. It's, I, you, I have to learn control. I don't have it yet. Um, I have been practicing with various brushes. I've been doing, just doing S's from light to pressure. See, it's, it's hard for me. So I've just been doing those over and over and over and over and over again. Eventually I'll get it. Practice. There's a marker. I guess a marker would go in the ink. It's a big marker. Does this get bigger? Eh, it gets a little bigger. You can make some nice ink swatches with this. But this is supposed to be a marker. I don't Yep, again, sideways, here you go. You can make, make the... Oh, I like that. You can make your shades. Okay, we have a marker. We have mercury. Oh! <laughs> That's way too big, but it... Cool background. Another one that works with pressure. And let's make this as small as we can, which is 1%. You know, I'm clumsy. Well, again, light to heavier to light. I need practice, don't I? <laughs> but this is a cool... I like this. This is a cool shape. Look at that. You can cover a lot with that. The nice thing is, is if you expand, that's what you get. You can, you can work on pixels. On individual pixels with appropriate which sometimes you have to because something is wrong and you can't erase it so you have to go in and override it and get the right fading I guess you would say or, or, or gradient so you go in and you open it up and you say oh look at that there are the pixels okay I can I can pick up make this one darker Okay, or not. What happened? Oh, Lord. This happens. I think it's me. Because I, I do things too... Ah, oh, there we go. I do things too quickly. <laughs> All right. Let's go on to the next one. This, I find this fun. But this is... Uh, here's Pandani. Oh, it's a light pen. It doesn't load up as much ink. But again, it's a one that works with pressure. Goes skinnier and darker. Syrup. 
also skinnier and darker, but this is a nice one. Ooh, it looks like syrup. You can make some pretty flourishes with this. Again, I don't know what I would use all of these for because I've never been taught drawing with inking. This one is called Tinderbox. Again, it's another pressure. Hmm. I see. Go up and... Okay, it's got a ragged edge. Oh, it looks... It's a square. Can you see that? It's a square that rolls. It rolls. But, oh, that's cool. I think that's why I see some pens that say roll. Maybe it's because they um, arbitrarily move, you know, turn around. So you don't always get the same image on the same sheet. You know, if I wanted to use this as a stamp, it's going to roll, and I'm going to get different images, different looks to it. That's especially it, um, nice in watercolor. Thighs, thighs seem. Thylacine. Somebody tell me where they come up with these names. Because <laughs> I have no idea. But, oh, look at that. This is, I would call it a rake style. Let's make it smaller. Do you notice how it goes up and then turns? So it turns with... The brush. It it what it what doesn't go skinny. There's no sideways on this. It just goes with the brush. And this is rake style, in my opinion. But again, when you make it smaller, it looks completely different. Looks like a regular pencil. But that's not the purpose of it. The purpose is to get some cool looks, you know? I like that. It, the stroke follows where you, fought, where you, where you uh, move. Cool, huh? You make some nice hatching with this. Cross hatching. Uh, what do we got here? Technical pen. Light. Heavy. Ah, this one also seems to keep its own a mono size sideways, mm -hmm. but each it's tapered on each end, as you can see. Here you can see it best. It's tapered here and it's tapered there, but the inside of it is pretty much consistent. Next is ink roll. Now, remember what we, I, I speculated about the roll with that square one? No, that's not what roll means. This is a ribbon. This is like a ribbon. You go this way, and you're going to get skinny. You go this way, you're going to get thick. You go this way, you're going to get a ribbon. <laughs> and imagine this in another color. Yeah, let's pick a color. Let's go with the purple. And it's, I love the raggedness of it. When it goes pastel, it's got a little ragginess. You can see here and here. As if it's not, you can see the brush strokes. Cool. Back to black. Uh, we got two more. Marker roll. Okay. 
uh, I well, I guess this is what a roll is. Where sideways, it's thin, and vertically, it's thick. So again, but there's no, like the last one, varying the pressure doesn't, this, this one does not have brush strokes. Um, this is very even color and it goes very nicely into pastel and then into dark and into pastel again. Less, op less opacity. Nice. These are, I told you, these are fun. Well, if you're me, they are. <laughs> I really suggest if you have uh, an iPad just to doodle around. You don't waste paper, you don't waste pencils, you don't waste pens, you don't waste brushes, <laughs> real brushes, you don't waste ink, you don't waste paint, you don't waste water, you don't have all the supplies around you you need, and it gets very messy. Um, I know, I used to paint, and <laughs> I always had to have a drop cloth, and a side table with everything, and then you read, oh, it's, yeah, not easy. All right, last but not le least is the studio pen. I have no idea what the difference is with this one. Oh, that's too thin. It's another light pressure, hard pressure. Light pressure, it's thin. High pressure, it's not. This one's a little easier to get your... Let's make this a little bigger. Okay, then maybe it's not. Thin, thick pressure works. I, what I don't like is... Well, no, never mind. <laughs> I might have changed that one. All right, let's go back up to the top and let's go to the next brushes. Now this I'm going to need a black background. So, here we have a black background. I just turned the white one off. And of course, we can't have black on black. So, how about pink? Bright pink, fluorescent pink, because these are luminous colors, uh, brushes. These will really stand out. That one was flare. This one is a light pen. Thicker, the uh, the, thin, the less pressure, the thinner and the less glow. The more pressure, the thicker and the more glow. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Isn't that wild? I, I, I don't know how they do this. weird but night nice. I have so much fun with these I just play oops I just play with gold the glow and luminescence here's a light brush this was a light pen as you can see it was pretty consistent and hard this is a light brush so the harder you press the more glow shows through also, I've noticed, the more you go over it, the more it glows. Because you can make uh, one thin stroke, and then another thin stroke, and another, and it gets brighter, and brighter, and brighter, and I'm not pressing any harder. I'm still using the same brightness. So you can get degrees I wish you can see this because it, it's not quite, it's not quite white here. This is still pink. Now if I go over it, you can see it getting lighter. Now it's coming in with white, 
on the black, which makes it glow. And of course, you've got the um, the blurriness on the edges, which makes it even more luminescent. I guess that's what it is, you know. Ah, keep going. See, I told you, uh, if I were to go back to the gallery and then open this again with black, I'll get black constant. So let's do that. Gallery, reopen. Reopen, okay. Next, Ooh, a pulse. Don't know what I use this for. But it's cool. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh, how about bouquet? But let me know what bouquet is. Right? We see it all the time at Christmas. It's light and dark circles, well, heavy and, dark, and, and pale circles, and different sizes. So you've got some big ones, you've got some little ones. You can change it, you can make them really big. Look at that. <laughs> So you can fill it up, or you can make them really small, and it, it's almost glittering. And again, it's like a monoline, it stays the same size, so you have to adjust it here. Lovely, lovely, oh, lovely. Okay, we're going back to white. <laughs> Um, it does look cool on black, the luminous um, brushes, but look at that. That's okay. It's it's just as good on white. This is it changes color. You've got purple and pink and lavender and white. It changes opacity. It changes color. It changes size of the balloons. You use a different color and you get different. A different uh, shades, I guess. It goes a little bluer, but there's still pink in there. Lavender. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Pretty. And on black, of course, it glows. And that's why they call it luminous. And if you go over it several times, you'll notice some of them are turning white which is making them glow even more. That's how you make glitter. <laughs> okay, let's go light leak. I have no idea. Let's try that on black. Oh, it's changing color with each stroke. Isn't that cool? I wonder if it changes. Yes, it changes color this way too. But it overwrites itself easier. I think it's easier to just. Uh, yeah, not pretty. It makes a nice background to do something. I love it. <laughs> Here we have, it says glimmer. Yeah, that's glimmer, all right. <laughs> Ooh, it really is glimmer. It's slightly out of focus, which is why it's a glimmer, I think. Do, do you see what I'm talking about? It's slightly blurred, which you can do on your own with a glossy and blur, but this is so cool. And last in this, we have, oh, this has to go on black. It has to. Because this 
Not too big. This is a nebula. The lighter I press, the cloudier, the harder I press, the more. Oh, yeah, that's a nebula. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. It's different. And you don't necessarily will use this on a whole page. You know, you might just use a little of it on the side and then maybe put some stars around. You can make it smaller. Here's a small nebula in the distance. I don't know. What do I know? I don't know anything. I just plan. So that's the last of the luminance. Luminance? Luminance. Uh, in that comes with the kit. I have many, many, many more. <laughs> they, they glow, they illuminate, they uh, fractals, they just pop into your face. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, let's go with materials as last. Um, there's a lot of them. Let's take a look. We have Avalon which, whatever that is. We have Wattle Board. I don't see a difference, really, but okay. We have Fern Tree. Ooh, that's pretty. Press harder, darker, lighter. Sawtooth. Nice. Uh, Blackwood. Ooh. That reminds me of Burl. Of a, I don't know if you want to know what a Burl word is. B-U-R-L. Oh, if I do that in brown? Yeah. This is, um, this is definitely a texture, a background. Because, look, it, it, unfortunately, you can see the repetition, but yeah, okay, it's nice. It's like a marbling burrow. Okay, uh, tawny. Aha! I don't know if you guys can see this. It's cracks. It's little cracks. You can make a, a background of, say, a paper background with this. Bring it up all the way. Look at that. And then you can start painting on it if you wanted. Hey, I'm pretty. That's easy. That's nice. Um, next, we have Zong Trap Casto. Cas Casto. On Trap. I can't. I can barely read this. On Trap. Casto, Dion track with a D. It, it's French. It's got to be. <laughs> it's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> but this one, oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Press harder, you get darker. Press lighter, you get lighter. And this is one that if you go over it, it gets darker. Whereas some, if you go over, it just stays at the same uh, opacity. Glover? Haha, <laughs> this is very grungy. I like that. But I don't like the repetition, so I wouldn't use this. I'd use this in a small section, maybe. 
because the repetition just it takes away from the look of the um, brush. Now, if I were to hit this arrow, it will outline whatever it is that's on that page. So if you have one thing on that page, it will outline just that one thing. And you can move it where you want. Oh, okay. I want to move it here. And that's that. I moved it into the corner. Now it doesn't look as uniform as it did. You know, it had the stripes and the stripes and the, this shape and this shape. Okay. For no. Uh, could this be a leopard? <laughs> this could be a leopard spot. Doesn't make the spots any bigger. It just makes the brush bigger. This is not getting that much darker. That's cool. This is, I would call this leopard. <laughs> I could see this as leopard. Uh, then we have stubble. I guess if you're doing faces, you want some stubble on the face. <laughs> and there we have stubble. Funny. Next is noise brush. I'm, noise brushes, I believe, are used for shadowing because they're very, they call it noisy because there's a lot of light in with the dark with the color so it you can get a very you can use this for shade and you can get a very light shade or press a little harder and get a darker shade or a little harder and get a really dark shade like that and if, again if you go over it it's going to get darker so you have to be you ha actually have to pay attention to that but sometimes you don't want it to get any darker, but you do want it in a certain place. So you may have to do it over and over and over. I have. It's what happens. Here's old skin. Okay, we're making a face, I guess. And we're giving them old skin. That's... No, is that whole skin? <laughs> Let's see. We're at the biggest we can get. I'm just gonna cover the page. Is this, is is that old skin? I don't know. Leave leave a comment below if you if you agree, disagree, or think it's resembles something else more. I don't. I'm not making pictures of old people, so I don't have to worry. Here's a rough skin. Okay, you want rough? Let's make it rough. Again, you see the uh, repetition in it? I, th I don't like that at all. Not at all. If I use this, it would be on a smaller figure much lighter A little shade here and that could look like rough skin I'm I'm sure there are artists who could do justice to these brushes uh, it's gonna tell you <laughs> I like this one it's zombie skin
turn it up big. Ew! <laughs> That's zombie skin. Okay, I, 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 I have nothing to say. I'm, I'm speechless. Uh, here comes some fun ones. This one, I've used these. Uh, it's this is fine hair. Again, let's make it bigger so you can see. This is fine hair. Give her some break. Some. That's fine hair, isn't it? Okay. Um, then we have flowing hair, which I guess if we're going to make it lower, let's make it a little bigger. No, I shouldn't have gone that way. Okay, flowing hair. That's a big head. <laughs> and last is for short hair. go a nice messy short hair because when I had short hair I liked messy <laughs> sweet short hair you have to have again this is something you need to practice with but it's fun okay I think that's enough we went through three libraries today um, this one is what they called the materials. So we had all these materials. Uh, and the next ones coming up are drawing, organic, and painting. Maybe. If they have too many, I'm not going to do the third one. I'm only going to do two. Because I don't want to waste your time. We're already at over 45 minutes. So... Or whatever. <laughs> in the meantime, please be good, be nice, be kind, be wonderful, be safe. Do what you have to do to keep yourself and others safe. These are some of my paintings. I love this one. I used a lot of luminous. Um, that's my little Sir Oliver. Until the next time, I'm even itching.